Hello everyone, this is Angelo Robles, founder and CEO at Family Office Association. Uh, we've been really on top of the challenges of the coronavirus. I was concerned about this going back into late January. We had Tal Schwartz, uh, AI data scientist and hedge fund manager on, I believe it was February 12th on uh, my webcast and podcast talking about the grave challenges presenting itself in the coronavirus and the impact economically and on the finance markets. This is relatively going to be a short video. It's going to be more a focused on investments. So that was a while ago. It's now into mid, mid to late March as I'm recording this. And the question is going to be, there's blood in the streets. Look at what's going on in the market. So from my perspective, it's going to be, how are our families, our hundreds of families around the world, many that I've been relatively constantly in touch with, how are they looking at this and how are they investing, for lack of a better word? Well, again, long term. Many of them have a long term time horizon. If they often believed in the value of what they own, uh, selling in a down market is not necessarily <laughs> going to be good unless they specifically need cash, which the vast majority of them don't. So, simply like any investing, you rather buy low and sell high. So, the opportunity is not good for that now. There are definitely industries where there's concerns about travel, airline, what's going to happen with organizations that are more brick and mortar stores, even if they're larger companies, but not a strong online presence. Grave concern with that. On the other hand, again, potential opportunities. So you have to gauge a little bit. Are we at kind of a bottom now? And are we making or doing the right steps as a country, specifically here in the U.S.? to help to with social distancing, some level of quarantining, and hopefully the warmer weather combinations that could mean that the hysteria and some of the challenges that we're going through now within about 30 to 45 days are going to subside. Has this been built in, this challenge to the current markets? Meaning, are they at potentially a low? No one knows that's a crystal ball. But the argument could be made that maybe they are henceforth the opportunity for long term. So look at a company like Amazon that probably is doing great now or an organization potentially like Costco, although a quarantining that's going to get more challenged, online learning, uh, nursing, healthcare, uh, organizations like that could potentially, I don't mean it in this negative way, but profit or benefit uh, from how people may consume goods or services, that's probably the better way to put it, moving forward in relatively the short term and probably some of it lasting for a long, long time. So there are opportunities. For some of you, maybe staying totally on the sideline in cash, that's great. For others, just staying the course and looking at it long term. But again, much of it's going to depend on your perspective of the current economic situation. What are your current goals and needs, your cash needs, your time horizon? And these are all things that even among the world's wealthiest families that they're looking at. Uh, after years and years of a one-way bull market, do we all get a little bit too exuberant and realize that markets do go down? Now, hedge funds, especially long, short equity, have been hit very hard during the long, long run of the bull market. But now you're starting to see that some of them are doing great relative to their opportunity to take more strategic bets, to the markets are more challenged uh, from shorting to leverage to other strategies that managers could use. And we look to have some of the iconic managers that are doing well, hopefully on an upcoming webcast or podcast because I think it is kind of intriguing times, I guess you could say, on the investing side, specifically from that perspective. On that note, everyone, I'm Angelo Robles, a Family Office Association. Thank you very much for listening.